Green is the one made from renewables. So by definition, it, it has no CO2 in it. It has no uh, emissions in it. So it's solar energy, wind energy, hydroelectric energy turned into hydrogen through electrolyzers. So it's water being split, H2 hydrogen separated from the oxygen and generated from mainly desalinated water, which is getting uh, very cheap and adds nothing, almost nothing to the cost of the hydrogen. And, uh, and so that's the, the purest one. And, and, uh, and, and let's say right now it's more expensive than its uh, uh, blue alternative, which is made from methane. Methane is CH4 that can be cracked through a steam methane reformer. And then you basically take the hydrogen and take the carbon and you store the carbon underground and use the hydrogen. Now, blue doesn't mean anything unless we attach a, a definition which is more precise, which is how many grams of CO2 is left in that blue hydrogen and how much methane was leaked to produce that blue hydrogen. So you can have a very inefficient uh, value chain where uh, in some parts of the world, there's a lot of methane leakage and getting from the methane reservoir, the gas reservoir, to this steam methane reformer to create the hydrogen. So the first thing to check is that there's no methane leakage. And the second thing to check is that you're actually capturing and storing properly, uh, ideally, all of the CO2. So to say blue doesn't really mean much unless you say how blue it is. And, and we're trying to convince policymakers to create a global standard uh, to define blue. And then you have the gray, which is made from gas without CO2, without CO2 capture, without CCS. You have the dark uh, gray or black made from coal. And then you have the pink made from nuclear. And you have the turquoise, which is made from gas, but without the methane reform without cracking the gas, you're actually doing pyrolysis. So um, I think blue and green are fine so long as blue is properly blue. The problem with hydrogen compared to other fuels is that once it's in a tank, in a pipe, um, uh, in, 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 a, in a car, you can no longer distinguish it uh, for, for, from how it was made. So we really need to have certificates of origin. We need to have uh, companies saying, you know, we verified the process, this is proper blue hydrogen, then it's fine to get into the kind of the green uh, energy incentives, etc. Yeah, but I, we have to really be careful to keep the darker colors out. 